Nice work, Cupcake. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> Beckett. Well, I know of him. Why? No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Um, Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. You better get back downtown. Prince LaCroix is going to want to hear all about this victory. Let's drain it. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, huh, Nick. <laughs> Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Name's Nines. Same thing that happens to a lot of anarchs, Malk. But you already know that somehow, don't you? Should have been more careful, newbie. This ain't the burbs. Kid, I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid.
doing here? I mean, I gotta admit, I'm a little flattered if you're stalking me, but, uh, anyhow, uh, you see where your little security muffins ended up? Night shift lobby sergeant, huh? <laughs> hey, uh, stick with me, cause I'm going straight to the top, baby. Uh, I'd love to buzz you up, but according to Building Security Protocol 916, I'm gonna have to verify you're supposed to be here before I can open the elevator. I hate to be a Louis Law, but I'm new here, and, uh, you... Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting, or, uh, what... There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Yes, yes, I'm... Sure, it was quite an experience. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the Kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus, in fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence, so be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? I see. Then, you should go humor the by-the-numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew. Oh, please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kine. Give the Anarch community my regards.
see who made it back in one piece. I'm in Santa Monica, kiddo. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. I was too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive. Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> politics. The stuff that makes the rich get richer keeps the powerful in power. Look at why you're out in Santa Monica in the first place. Cause Prince LaCroix said so. <laughs> ah, kid, I never answered a no man in life. Now I'm sure as shit ain't taking orders from a vampire with a suit of funny names. But when I die again, the devil's gonna have to cut me a deal if he wants my ass. Besides, I never trust anybody with an ex in it. Because he never thought you'd make it back. If Nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. It's bullshit, Camarilla Law. You gotta get it approved before you sire anyone. Vampire population control fast crap. LaCroix wanted to look like the strong leader upholding the law. Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Vents were born in a morphia. Yeah, man, it's called kicking ass and crushing the skulls of any asshole who steps on my toes. That's... LaCroix is the boss of the Camarilla in L.A. That's it. <laughs> LaCroix is the boss. <laughs> That's rich. The free living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. Well, that means that's got a nice tickle, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's us, so I'm told. What'd you want to know? Moving right along. What's on your mind? Showed up? Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than me and me. You got a right to know the score. The Camarilla? This is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans, and looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes, and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out too is this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. LaCroix? Shit. LaCroix's just the guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming king son of a bitch of all the local Camarilla. Him and any of the traitors that sided with the cam want power here, they'll get what's due. I learned the way of this world during the Depression. A bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what L.A. has been. An anarch-free state. The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now the Croyan crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. <laughs> in goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. I 
got their meaning right here. Don't use me and Prince in the same sentence, Mel. I fought to keep LA free since I was embraced. Long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't bitted or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battle. The Croy represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, if you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. If you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed, no reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. It's a speech ain't gonna save your ass when you're standing down the barrel of a shotgun. After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah, I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this, and keep your body at an angle. Makes you harder to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists and put your weight into your punches. You poor bastard. Listen, LA's the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Here, here, here. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's gotta start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's gonna send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. Jeez, what kind of wood sting? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something. Didn't you ever see Fletch? Were they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? Take it easy, Lois Lane. This is still a badge you're talking to. All right, look. I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, brainchild. Hold up a sec. Heinz to Marsh. Heinz to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. Heinz to Jacobson. Uh, Anderson. Heinz to Anderson. Come in, Anderson. Come check this out! I just saw a baleen whale! Yeah?
some kind of symbol. Uh, are you guys in touch with deep water? NPNC or who? Who do we have? Not immediately familiar. Well, look, uh, this is something we need to get squared away before anyone puts any stakes down. I mean, look, this will save all of us some work later if we get this shit squared away now, okay? Agreed? We go through this every goddamn time. Alright, fine then. Find out, and we'll save us all some trouble. You know what you mean? Huh? It's nothing local. No similarity to any local gang signs I know. I didn't know if the Coast Guard would know if perhaps it was associated with any pirate organization. It's a bunny. What? The symbol. It's a bunny. A bunny. Yes. Any of those items you mentioned? Uh, okay. I guess. Here. Uh, I'll buy as much as you've got. I think I have enough for the procedure now. Thanks for the blood. Mr. LaCroix told me to keep an eye out for you, Coffee Cake. Said to send you right up. You know, I got a break in an hour, and a fresh box of Krusty Kremes in the back. How about on your...
I've said all I need to for now. I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? Opened. Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders, a worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin, which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, a Malkavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. The Sabbat's appearance has put the Primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into, and have him contact us. Yes, for the moment. You know, your demeanor thus far bears similar characteristics to those that rise to the top of this organization. Stay that course. Yes, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. Oh, and to show my appreciation for your dedicated service to me, I have secured you a haven nearby, in the Skyline Apartment Building. I hope it's to your liking. <laughs>